what's up you guys and welcome back to the gaming channel Despones. So today I wanted to do something really cool and show you guys around on my Minecraft server. So if you did not know, uh, I made a Minecraft server about like a year ago I think and like ultimately it just got crashed because a whole bunch of um, hackers just went on there and basically crashed the whole thing but uh, it is back and it is better than ever now. Um, after like a year of basically taking a break from Minecraft I got back into it and uh, made a server and it's all open to you guys so if you want to check out the uh, IP address it's free to get in so make sure to check that out in the description below. Anyways though, so the server before was essentially just one world, which was cool and all, but since I've gotten back into it, I've decided I kind of want to go bigger and better. So what we've decided to do is make several different worlds. So what you're seeing right now is basically the hub of the entire server. You see that over here we have a thing that says survival, well kind of does not look like it says survival because a fucking cloud is going 9-11 status into it just crashing right into it Ooh, too soon sorry so there's a survival worlds um there's a pvp area and then there's a creative area so you basically spawn right here and um normally it isn't fucking raining like shit crazy but i'm just gonna leave it on so we go over here in this creative worlds and you're like okay what is creative type slash creative for more information it kind of just tells you what'll happen when you're in a creative world, what it is, how it differs from a normal world, and you see that it also says VIP access or above to enter. So basically something that I had set up in this server is a thing called ranks, and what that is is as of now, the only way to up your rank is to pay or donate to the server, which I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, I don't wanna pay for fucking shit. So you go into this portal and it teleports you to this place. It says, welcome to Arteria. Please read the rules before you leave. And if you're anything like me, you're like, rules, fuck no. In this world, the creative world, is flying is enabled and you'll just see that everywhere there's just a ton of awesome artwork. So a lot of this artwork is done by the admins that are on my server. Um, a lot of it is done by you guys. As you can see, there's uh, <laughs> me with my, my plush doll. I think that one was done like over a year ago, actually. But let's say we want to go into this survival world. So you go up the stairs and it kind of has the same um, three things. It says, what is Skyblock? Because you can do Skyblock in my server. Um, what is survival? And then this one says, this sign is useless and also racist. I really didn't know what to put there, but I was like, I can't just have two signs. That just looks silly. So then you go in here and you see there's three portals. This one is the VIP world which is Azoria. This one is the default world, so people who are just joining the server, this is the one that they go to. You're probably thinking like, Death 3, default world probably really fucking blows. Well, it kinda does and it kinda doesn't. I'll show you just really quickly. If you go into the default world, it's still really cool. You have this cool little fucking spawn area. Uh, it has like a ship and a fucking cathedral. Uh, there's a general store that you can pick up, you know, like weapons and armor so you're not just completely alone. The one thing about this world though is that it is completely PvP enabled everywhere. The only place it's not is at the spawn, uh, but once you step outside of this gate and you're out here, you are pretty much just all in a PvP world. So it's not completely boring just being on the default world. But it's not completely fun either because as, you know, just default rank and you're not VIP or anything, you don't get a lot of access to the, all of the other stuff. So let's go back up to the survival area. Now you see that this one says VIP access or above. Now this is actually the world that I made when I first started the server. So this is a general spawn area. You've got my dope ass castle, my other dope ass castle. You got, uh, there's a spawn. Um, so it's basically the exact same um, world that my Minecraft server over a year ago had been and I basically just re-uploaded the original game files and voila, here it is. I mean, obviously though, this is just one of the cities, so you go over here and this is a neighboring city that we have um, that is called New Rathir. Um, basically, there's a lore to the story because I'm just that much of a nerd. I had to make like a cool fucking storyline. And the last thing I'll show you is just the PvP area. So a lot of you guys I know like to play PvP and just beat the fuck out of other Minecraft players. It's totally cool. I like to do that shit too. In the PvP area, you'll see that there is Capture the Flag, Team Deathmatch, and anyone can join that, but unfortunately it is not completely open yet. We're still kind of working out some bugs. But over here is the Hunger Games hub, and anyone can enter that. So if you're a default player, if you're VIP, if you're any of the other ranks, you can enter this. The Hunger Games hub, you'll see that this says uh, Hunger Games Forest. This one says Hunger Games Stadium. We're working on making the Hunger Games City where you play in a city. Not only are they really, really cool maps, but we put like so much fucking effort into each of these maps just to make them really awesome. So 
I'll go to one of the maps just to show you how cool it is. Alright, so this is one of the areas. Um, you'll see that these little, there's like all these little places around this tree. And these are all the, um, the spawns for the Hunger Games. So you'll start here. There's a cornucopia in the middle and you like rush towards it. Or you don't. You know, whatever you fucking want to do. And it's called Hunger Games Forest because it's just a giant forest. But cool thing about this forest is there's just ass tons of structures everywhere. One of my favorites that I actually like putting down is um, you come over here just randomly. I mean, maybe you, you don't know the map, so you know, you come over here, you're like, oh fuck, I have to balance on this thing. I just fell, and I'm a pro at this game. I'm just kidding, I'm really not. If you can cross that thing and you can survive, there's a chest here, and if you can cross this gnarly fucking thing, there's like five or six chests in here. So that's kind of a spoiler for you guys, so, you know, don't go taking all the awesome stuff in there just because I showed you. This one, which is called the Hunger Games Stadium, is one that everyone could go into, the default users, the VIP users, everyone can go in this one, and you see that this one, you start off right here, you can go to the cornucopia in the middle, and it's basically just a giant fucking stadium. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to have the Minecraft server back up, um, it's really awesome to play games with you guys and, and connect with you in a different way other than fucking YouTube comments and Twitter and all that. It's fun to, I don't know, throw poison at you guys, for example, and fucking shoot you with arrows until you die, and you know, all these really, really fun things we can do together. As I said before, the IP address is down in the description below, and make sure to check that shit out, because I'm thinking that once this thing gets big and, you know, a lot of people are joining into it, we can make it bigger and do cooler things with it. Who knows what it can do, you know? So I don't know. I'm really excited. Thank you guys for watching this Minecraft video. So yeah, check that shit out. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching another Death Pong video. Video, and uh, I love your vaginas. <laughs>